Good afternoon. We are here at the India Education Summit, and we have with us the principal of Vidya Sanskar School, Miss Vasudha Nilmani. And uh, we would like to ask some questions about the K-12 education space. So, ma'am, in the Vidya Sanskar International School, what do you focus on the learning outcomes? Basically, Vidya Sanskar International School is affiliated to Cambridge University UK, and the learning outcomes are very clear. We emphasize a lot on understanding of the knowledge the students have retained and applying that knowledge into current general situations. So it was a big challenge when we uh, joined the school earlier and we uh, adapted Cambridge pedagogy in our school because uh, uh, let's face it, the education system in India, we focus a lot on mugging up and cramming up and acquiring acquisition of knowledge rather than uh, getting it into application mode. So putting the teachers on those training levels and lot of training sessions were conducted. So it was a big challenge for us. And uh, at Vidya Sanskar, we focus a lot on value-based education, trying to personify our name Vidya and Sanskar, wherein, yes, there are oodles and oodles uh, avenues of uh, um, knowledge and resources and everything is there. But at the same time, uh, we, we pressurize and emphasize a lot on value-based education in children. Great. Uh, I, I guess none of the conferences go without talking about the role of technology in education. So, uh, what is your take on that? Do you want me to answer that, Utkarsh? You know it very well. Well, uh, to answer your question, uh, Vidya Sanskar, the team, management and I as principal, we strongly believe that uh, uh, in 21st century education, that is today, nothing is complete without technology. So we have a tie-up with Apple education system. It is a last time when we met, if you remember, we were in the first stage of it, where we had given the iPads only to teachers and teachers were learning how to do it. Now, fortunately, we have uh, crossed our third and final stage also, where we have created an iPad lab where teachers and students are going a lot of things and doing a lot of apps, experiments, teaching and learning and happening. And now uh, from April, we have already distributed 400 iPads to all the students. So the whole school is now iPad enabled. So, and we have uh, iMacs to create the content for students and teachers as well. So now we are working on it, wherein in April, we will be uh, going, we, we will rolling it, rolling it through completely. Tremendous. I, I guess the students and teachers would be happier than you even think of. Uh, yes, they are happier, but the bigger challenge is still now teachers are a little hesitant when it comes to technology. So uh, our biggest challenge was to motivate the teachers or, and to guide them. So Apple is very good. We, we do lots and lots of uh, Apple training sessions and uh, wherein I'm planning to do a subject specific training sessions in the month of April with Apple people. So how, how do you involve the various stakeholders in, in your school basically? What are the uh, initiatives do you take for that? Uh, it's a very transparent uh, approach. Uh, uh, I have a, a very good management, great chairman, great visionary Mr. Shanti Prakash Gupta who who is a true tremendous and true blue example of the uh, quote that you don't need to be very very educated to be a visionary or an educationist uh, himself so he was uh, once i remember we were discussing that how to improve the technological aspect in the school and he asked me a question that which is the best uh, education system or what best we can do and uh, and I was in talk with uh, the then Apple education head Mr. Goel and I said of course Apple because I was doing my own research and it was just a minute when he said he, he took less than a minute to go ahead but uh, I'm sure that other schools principals, other school teachers, students, they are not fortunate because we have a very, very good and very understanding management who thinks that okay, we have to work for the benefit of the children. So uh, it was not a very difficult task for me. The little challenge was to convince the parents. But uh, we have one-on-one -on -one session and where is it, the approach is very, very transparent. So my parents were uh, more than happy to imbibe Apple as a thing. So I didn't face a uh, challenge a lot because uh, uh, it, the management truly believes that you have to give the best to the students and uh, we also want our students to be to be in best what they want to do 
not only as an educationist but uh, not only in education but uh, in all the fields and uh, we have a horse riding area uh, we have a music lab uh, wherein i have around 15 20 pianos we are official examination center of trinity school of music and rock school of music where my children write exam and this is for the first time that in last month in july we introduced horse riding and this march my 30 students are going to participate in delhi horse show so uh, everything is a child is a child and you we have to every child has a special ability innate ability in in them and as an educationist as an educators we have to bring that out it 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 might not be just academics it might be something else so that we have to see definitely i i wish more people uh, more the more decision makers think like the way your chair i also hope so <laughs> so so la my last question would be what is your take on reforming the k12 education landscape i sincerely feel that we need to work hard a lot in in this area uh, unfortunately mrs ms shama chona uh, dilip thakur we were we were discussing all the things today but those were the facts and today in the morning today in the morning newspaper in times of india i read that cce has uh, been successful only in the creating the grades or making the papers easy but not in creating the learning outcomes and uh, i had been telling my uh, friends and educational leaders all over i did a white i produced a white paper 2 3 years ago 4 years ago to be precise when cc has just entered where the cbsc teachers were fa fa fee spacing lot of challenges um in terms of uh, they were not trained properly they were not given any proper education they were not given any proper training how cc should be there and cc can work best with less number of students cc is ought to be uh, it's destined to fail i'm sorry to say if there are 40 students in a class and you expect uh, cc to be uh, conducted it, it's completely it's a hogwash in my school Uh, of course yes we are a cambridge school but i wish all the government school and all the cbsc schools have a limited teacher student ratio in the class in my school i have 20 students in a class and uh, i know i have to run the school with 600 students it, which means that 20 students to a class and two sections each i have a capacity of 1000 to 1100 but when you raise the quantity the quality decreases so uh, and uh, as a special educator myself i i strongly believe that we have to cater to the last benchers and back benchers also uh, wherein uh, when the student teacher ratio is less the the teacher will be able to give quality education to the child and she will be knowing more about the children one very good concept which we have introduced is that our mentors we have a class mentor system our mentors take the children through and through when a child comes to gate grade 3 because till grade 2 there are class specific teachers that's there but from grade 3 onwards grade 3 teacher will take that student till grade 5 so he will complete primary with one particular teacher then middle school 6 7 8 1 and 9 to 12 1 so in his whole life when he is a confident as a as a pupil as a student so he will be seeing only three teachers in his whole school school life so that makes a lot of difference and that creates lot of bonding between teacher and student